Welcome back. And today, I want to go over a mantis technique if they should punch and what you can do. Now, this technique is pretty dangerous and you want to only use it on a last resort. So, if they should punch, you're blocking and then grabbing their wrist and coming under near the elbow. Either it can be the front of the elbow or behind the elbow. And as you can see, you want to basic your basically you're hyperextending their elbow. So slow, it's going to be catch and coming under. So you want to think of like a leverage where, where the catching hand is pressing down or pressing away from your body. And the hand that comes underneath their elbow is going to be pulling towards you. So the, think of the mantis hands. So you're pointing away and you're pointing toward yourself. And you make sure to use the wrist and basically, again, you want to use their weak spot, which is their elbow. So slow, block and catch, and coming under. And like this. So if they should strike twice with a like a, a jab, and then a cross, you have to quick block and then coming under, we're coming across from the block and trap their fist in your bicep and forearm and you're going away. So you're pressing your forearm on behind either behind the elbow or in front of the elbow and like I like on the mantis hands whichever finger their pointing finger is it's going to go that direction so this hand is pointing towards me and the right hand is pointing away so it would be this and the footwork is important also but that's where like stances is, is very important in martial in any martial arts so we'll do it slow with a just a one strike block and then grab and coming under as you can see here and there you have it, the, the grabbing the arm with the mantis strike. So one more time, it, this would be a, a, the double strike. So block and then coming and trap with your bicep and forearm and just come over. And there's the mantis technique. And until next time, have a great day.